The coordinates of A and B are as follows. We have been asked to find the midpoint of AB. Give it a try. The most obvious way would be to plot these two points, form the segment, find its length using the Pythagoras theorem, mark the midpoint and then find its coordinates. Unfortunately, you won't have so much time in your competitive exams. Finding the midpoint should take you a maximum of 5 seconds. The x-coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the x-coordinates of the endpoints. The x-coordinates of A and B are 3 and 1. The average will be 3 plus 1 over 2. This is the x-coordinate of the midpoint. And the y-coordinate, as you would have guessed, will be the average of the y-coordinates of the endpoints. It will be minus 1 plus 3 over 2. The coordinates of the midpoints are 2 comma 1. Remember, average of the x-coordinates and average of the y-coordinates. But midpoint problems are not always this easy. In the next problem, we are given that P is the midpoint of the part of the line between the axes. We are given the midpoint this time and we are asked for the slope of that line. Let me be honest, this is not very straightforward. But try finding the slope. Let's try understanding this with the help of a coordinate plane. The only thing we are given is that 2 comma minus 3 is the midpoint of some line segment. This is tricky. Read the question carefully. It is the midpoint of the part of the line between the x and the y axis. Now try drawing different lines passing through P. One line we can draw is like this. It passes through the first, third and the fourth quadrant. So maybe the question is talking about P being the midpoint of this segment. It is formed between the x and the y axis. Is there any other way in which a line can be drawn through P? Can we have a line like this? No, we cannot. If it passes through the second, third and the fourth quadrant, the segment formed between the x and the y axis is this. But the midpoint has to lie on the segment, not outside it. For the same reasons, a line like this is also not possible. The midpoint has to be on the segment. A line like this, parallel to the y-axis, is also not possible as the segment is not formed at all. This line will not intersect the y-axis. And this line, which is parallel to the x-axis, is also out of question as it does not intersect the x-axis. This is the only kind of line that makes sense. Now that we know this is the segment, what do we need to do to find its slope? To find the slope, all we need is the coordinates of any two points on this line. We have one, but how do we find the other? Can we use the midpoint to find the coordinates of the endpoints? Look at the endpoints first. This endpoint will have coordinates x, 0, and this endpoint will have the coordinates 0, y. The endpoints can be named A, x, 0 and B, 0, y. What will be the midpoint of AB? The x-coordinate of the midpoint will be the average of the x-coordinates of the endpoint. It will be x plus 0 over 2. And the y-coordinate will be 0 plus y over 2. That is the average of the y-coordinates. And this is 2 comma minus 3. This is the midpoint that is given to us. So x over 2 will equal 2. We get x as 4. And y over 2 is minus 3. So y is minus 6. With these values, a will be 4 comma 0 and b will be 0 comma minus 6. That's it. We have the endpoints and we can easily find the slope. The slope is defined as y minus y1 over x minus x1. Using points A and B, we get 0 minus minus 6 
as the numerator and 4 minus 0 as the denominator. The slope will equal 3 over 2. Let's review what we did. First, we found out that this is the line the question is talking about. The endpoints of the segment are x, 0 and 0, y as we are told that it is the part of the line between the x and the y axis. We used the midpoint formula and found the values of x and y. And that gave us the coordinates of the endpoints. And with the help of those coordinates, we found the slope of that line. But sorry to disappoint you again. This is not the best way to solve this problem. This is only a good way to understand it, yes. But do you know how much time you should have ideally taken to solve it? Not more than one second. That's all. If the midpoint of the segment is x, y, then the slope of that line will be minus y over x. Here, the midpoint was 2, minus 3 and the slope is minus of minus 3 over 2. Remember this well. If the midpoint is x, y, then the slope is minus y over x.